Yeah, good day YouTubers, just doing a quick, another quick video. Uh, this one's about a custom uh, safe case I've converted into a iCharger 4010 Duo um, case. Like the, my main reason was to um, keep out the any dust because I live in a high high wind area, so any dust and debris, uh, any um, overspray or or any sort of materials that are used for cutting and grinding, all that kind of stuff, just keeps us all the foreign bodies out of the uh, power supply and also the eye charger. Just so you got a got a two amp fuse there for the cooling fans. You got a two forty volt input. Uh, with a seven and a half amp hour fuse to protect the the transformer. Obviously, I want the uh, I want that fuse to blow before the internal fuses on the, um, the power supply. So it's just easier to change that. Of course, I'll just open it up and set it up so you can see. So all the balancing and the charging leads just fold up and fit inside the case itself. Keeps it keeps it dust and crap out of the uh, pins and, and uh, sockets we'll just we'll just set it up and uh, I'll show you how, how, uh, how it looks and how it works okay that's that's the power the, the charging charging cable um, I'll just take it out for you it's obviously hard to do one hand I'm just using my phone to record so you got the, you got the series of notches and they got to face up on both plugs once you get that facing up, goes in like that, and then you turn the collar, and that self locks in there, so you, you know it can't pull out while you're charging it, which is a good thing. I'll try to do the balance lead. It's a balance lead I made up, as per previous video. Just fill in, turn the collar. There you go, collar's turn, that's secure. And being very positive connections, no, there's no end, uh, you know, loss of connections or uh, poor resistance between the pins. So I'm pretty happy with those connectors. Come back over here. So what I've done, as you can see, I've got the balancing leads. I've got uh, two fans. They pull the air in, it circulates through the panel. And then these two fans extract the air, so you get a constant uh, flow of air to cool the the charger in the in the power supply. Uh, I've got two neodymium magnets there, and each of these cables. This is the charging cable. I've put a heat shrunk uh, the the the, uh, the attracting neodymium magnet to the cable to the harness itself, so that will just snap on. And acts as acts as a um, cable strainer. Okay, and two two tennis uh, balancing cables. Again, I put a put a magnet on the actual harness itself as a strain relief. That just snaps on, sits up nicely. We'll turn on the power supply. Switch there. You hear it, the fans kick on, so I've got incredible cooling capabilities, which is what I want to preserve the life of the uh, I Charger 4010 Duo. <coughs> so just connect the cables in. Battery run. The ratings just come up. Second voltage. Battery run again. Just so I get the right, right uh, balance lead with the right uh, It's connected, but a little bit of difference, not a lot. 
battery too going slow. So you can see it all fits in pretty nicely. You know, and you got the second one, just four millivolts. Cables run across to the bike. Pretty, pretty happy with this setup. A lot better than what I had, whereas I had they're just out in the open, you know, attracting dust, getting dust in here, and then using a uh, just a cheap uh, pedestal fan to cool the charger. This is a lot better in terms of cooling the charge around power supply. We we'll just start to charge battery one. Battery one, life per four, that's it. So that's a charging at five amps now. I usually go between four to five amps. Once you get to a, the top part of the battery, uh, it, will, it will reduce the uh, current so it can balance it properly. So that's ramping up five amps now. Second one. Second one ramp up. Guys, well, it's charging and balancing as we speak. Uh, you know, five amp hour, it's probably only uh, uh, half battery discharge at this point, which is good to leave it in the storage. A storage charge about half the capacity of what it's uh, got. It's a good storage voltage. Uh, so, yeah, that'll take uh, three to four hours, you know, balancing and charging. So, probably four hours to get a, get a, get a proper top end balance. Uh, yeah, comes out, come out quite good. I'm proud of it because there's nothing, no BMS in there, and it's very, um, so highly visible what you what you're charging and how you're charging it, and what rates and what what voltage, what current, what resistance each cell is. It tells you all that. And I've got a very portable one set up uh, from two I I, I charge at X12s when I go camping on a small power supply. Um, but yeah, so, alright guys, I'll leave you with a bit of a slideshow of, uh, of my build process, um, of how, how I built this case. Um, I've priced these cases uh, in, in the past, uh, and they're quite expensive to buy a case that's been um, made like this to, to charge, you know, uh, the RC uh, battery world, uh, or the e-bike charging world, if you want to do it this way, which I, I like doing. Um, yeah, they're quite expensive. Maybe, yeah, this this safe case come from super cheap. Um, I won't say too much about it because I'll I'll leave you with a um, a build video, uh, step by step build build video of a process I undertook to uh, to create it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Till next time, huh? Catches.